Let's make a business card and print it in two colors with a single extruder. I'm making a rectangle and I'm just going to eyeball proportions and not pay attention to specific sizes yet. I want to round off the edges so I'm going to use the two point arc. Just click two points and adjust the bulge. I don't need to draw it again because now I'm just going to copy and mirror it. So I'll select it and with move and the control key drag it off to the side. To flip it, it needs to be a group. So with it selected, I'll go to edit, make group. and then right click and flip along the group screen. Now I'm moving it into place. And now I'm selecting both of these arcs. Again, with move and control, I'll drag them off to the side right click, flip along the red axes, and then move them into place. I need to explode the two groups now, so I'll just right click and choose explode. Now I'm erasing the lines I don't need. Push pull it up to the thickness wanted. and make it a group. Now we'll add text to it. Click on the 3D text icon and I'm typing my YouTube channel. The text is very small on this card but that's okay. I'll just click the scale icon and hold the control key down and drag. The control key makes it scale proportionately. I want to insert the text into the card, but it's actually kind of tricky trying to move it down. So instead, I'll just select the face of the card and move it up. Those letters are too high, so I'm going to push pull one down and then inference match all the others to it. Now I need to weld the letters to the card and so I'll use the solid tools for that. Specifically this first one, outer shell. Click the letters, click the card, click off to finish and you can see it's all one piece now. Before I export it as an STL, I'm going to resize it. So I'll click the tape measure, 
on opposite ends and then type the dimension I want. Click Zoom Extends to see it. And there it is. Now I'll export it as an STL. I printed the card white until it reached the letters. Then I paused the machine. You can see it's on unpause right now. And then clicked Change Filament, Load, and then I put in the black filament, and then I pressed Resume Build. MakerBot Desktop is really good about this. It's very easy to pause, change filament, and resume. And there you have it.